Welcome to the introductory video on HTML5. Now right away I should say that this is not a beginning series on HTML. So you should have a very good understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript before you take this series because we're not going to cover those core concepts. So we're not going to cover what a tag is or an HTML element. That is all discussed in my HTML and CSS series. So again, if you are just starting out, you want to go take those three series and then come back to here. So you want to think of this series more as an add-on to everything we've done in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And that's the good thing about HTML5. If you know HTML, it will be very easy for you to pick up HTML5. Because as always, the core concepts are still the same. Now, what do you need for this series? Well, we will be using Notepad++, but you can use any text editor that you have, or IDE for that matter. So if you have Dreamweaver or Visual Studio, you can use those as well. Or you can just simply use Notepad. Everything will work just fine. Now let's talk about some HTML5 tidbits. The biggest thing is HTML5 is backward compatible. So that's a good thing because all of your old web pages will work just fine with HTML5. And that includes the last release of HTML, which was 4.01. So if you have everything coded in that format, it will work just fine in HTML5. HTML5 is a little bit more forgiving. Some elements you don't even need to include in your web page anymore. And other elements you do not even need a closing tag. And elements are no longer case sensitive anymore. So you can put them in uppercase if you want. And we'll talk about that when we cover HTML5 syntax. Of course, new elements will be the major focus of this series. And we're going to cover the new semantic elements for page structure. So instead of using a div tag, you can use something more descriptive like a footer tag. And again, we will talk all about this when we get to page structure in HTML5. Perhaps one of the biggest additions to HTML5 is Canvas. And this allows you to do all sorts of graphics. And this is becoming very, very, very big in HTML5. So you can do everything from drawing to animations and even gaming. And so we will be covering Canvas quite extensively. Now, amazingly, HTML had no built-in support for video or audio. So before HTML5, you had to use a Flash plugin. But now HTML5 has audio and video elements. So we will be covering those in this series as well. And there are some new features for CSS and JavaScript. So again, you need to know those languages before you take this series. So we will be covering some of those new features. Okay, we will get going with HTML5 in the next video. See you guys then.